Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. So I have this deep mold from Molds and Shapes and I want to cast flowers as you may see here at the side a little bit. And it's my second time or my second attempt. So this is practically a prototype from Molds and Shapes, which I have here, but this mold is gonna be in the shop. So it's 15 by 15 centimeter. I need to check again. Hang on. Sorry, I'm not well prepared, but I think it's 15. Yeah, it's 15 by 15 centimeter and the height is eight centimeter. So it's huge for me it's really huge so i have my first layer of resin here and i'm using here the ultra cast resin just for the first layer and i'm pouring this into the mold try to be very slow not too fast and i put my resin into the resinous um, bubble machine anti-bubble machine and yeah it's very very bubble free it's very beautiful i love this and i'm very curious because i did a test by myself but i put my layers too early so when you look um at the um, pour itself from the top it looks perfect but when you look at the sides you see each layer and each layer is also a little bit wavy so this tells me i was far far too early in pouring my deep cast resin and um, this is a normal resin just like i said the ultra cast it's not a deep pour resin but it's good enough for my first layer. So that's what I'm doing. So I have it now inside and now I can place what I want to place. I have here, which I just dried a little bit. It's um, eucalyptus. Do you say eucalyptus too? I guess so, huh? And I just want to put this like this into the mold just to have a little bit of green. Still don't know how to do it and how to arrange everything. So I guess as next step, I put my rose. I dried this rose. It's a little bit folded there, but well, it's also not so often I um, cast or I dried flowers, so I normally dried flowers in a book, not using these, um, how to say, these little corns, you know, these little, um, how do you say this in English? Well, you know what I mean. Well, anyway, I've never used it, so it's really the first time. So this is then my rose placed. And then I have here a Gerbera. And look, it's very big and it dried so beautiful. So this I'm going to place just somewhere here, just so, because I want the flowers to be really looking 3D, but I guess they will look 3D anyway in this mold. And then I thought I place at the gaps a little bit of um, these, and um, these are hibiscus, and yeah, I think I need to cut it a little bit, hang on, or to break it up a little bit. So I have rather small um petals and design here but there's oops there's already something in my mold so I need to see 
There's my brush. I don't have a dotting tool right to hand now. But you know, these can happen from the flowers, from, it wasn't an air bubble, so. Or is this? Yeah, there are just some things from the flowers. They're a little bit floating, but it doesn't matter. Need to clean this later. And now I'm just placing here my um, <sighs> hibiscus. <laughs> Hibiscus? Hortensia, not hibiscus. Um, yeah, you can notice I'm a little bit nervous because, like I said, I had problems with my first pour. I am very happy with this and it's displayed in my living room, but it's not as I wanted it to be. So, shall I place more from this color or shall I just go with white? These are actually from my garden. I have white ones in the garden. And yeah, I'm just placing here a little bit. Maybe just these at the side here, because I love these from the color. These are really beautiful. So these are coming here. And I guess I should not put more in there. What do you think? I think I leave it like this. I let it dry. Um, I might spray some alcohol. And I try to get the rose a little bit off the side. But it's not so easy to get it completely off the side. But I think this arrangement is already quite all right. But I will put you on a close-up. But for the people who casting flowers for a long time, you need to have mercy with me because this is completely new for me and um, I'm doing my best. So anyway, this is my flowers placed. I will show you when I put the first layer of clear resin into the mold. And then the second layer, I think, you know, it speaks without saying that you just place your clear resin and yeah, that's it. But whether it's right or wrong, I just give it a few sprays of alcohol and I just let my resin cure underneath till it's tacky and then I pour my next layer. So, see you for my next layer. <laughs> so, I just take you quickly down. And this is how I lay up my flowers. I also want to have a little bit of negative space. I don't want the mold to be too full with the flowers. And look at the rose. It dried so beautiful. And I love this hortensia with the pink and the um, green. I bought it in a local flower shop um, and then I dried it and this huge um, Gerbera I bought um, in a flower shop in Germany and so I did the rose and like I said this little Hortensia here, the white one, is from my garden and then I have some Eucalyptus and I think it might give it all a good depth so yeah i'm curious how i'm gonna end up also with the layers it's still so new for me and yeah i hope um you won't see all the layers when you look at the sides but well i cannot promise anyway and what i wanted to say molds and shapes okay it looks a little bit messy because i used it already made this construction around the mold and it's easy to handle you see it goes from female to male and also like this and then you have the casing around and like i said it's a prototype there is a little area so don't worry 
This is not the quality. Normally, molds and shapes deliver to the customers. It's only for me for the prototype. So, anyway. <laughs> Fingers crossed and sorry that I'm talking so much. So I'm back. I checked this and you can touch it, but it's still a little bit that it's bending. So I hope it's the right moment to make my um, deep cast. And I start pouring with a little bit and then I put the other bunch in this um, cup and let it flick through the resina so it can lose um, all the bubbles that they get free from the resin. And I'm just pouring rather slow on top of my flowers. And you see it's a little bit dripping at the side but I try to be very carefully with everything. So you see, I try to cover also a lot of the flowers so that resin already touched them and hopefully I can avoid the bubbles. <laughs> like I said, it's the first time or the second time actually I'm doing this and Maybe at the end of the video, I show you my first attempt. It's not too bad, but like I said, it's not really the way it should turn out. So this is almost my first layer done. I will do all the other layers um, once the resin is really tacky, um, like um, touch dry, but still bendable. So I hope that that is the right moment to make another layer. So you see, this is almost done. And somehow I like how um, the Gerbera is now forming in this mold. It looks quite natural and this is what I like. So I will do the second layer. Um, right away because it's still liquid and then I let it cure just so that I can do the next layer. But this I will do off camera because it's only pouring clear resin on top of this mold and yeah, I guess you, you know how to pour clear resin. Okay, so time for demolding and I'm very curious. I have a little bit dust on the surface but I'm gonna um, sand it anyway and give it a top layer. So let me get this rubber off and also the frame molds and shapes um, gave me with this mold. And yeah, now I'm curious, how am I gonna get this out? So I'm really very curious how this one Turns out, let me get some gloves. Hang on a second. I'm back with gloves. <laughs> Needed to take them from my room, so I'm very sorry. And yeah, it's just a little bit like a hair or something and here a little bit dust. But like I said, if I send it off, if I make a top layer, it will be fine. So now I'm very curious to get this out of the mold. I let my last layer sit there for two days because I wanted to be sure the um, top coat resin needs, ah look, it loosens, wow, the top coat resin needs, uh, not top coat, I'm sorry, the deep pour resin, it's too warm, 
um, needs about um, 24 hours till it's getting tacky normally. But because it was warm, it reduced it, reduced half of the time. So yeah, it's not so easy to get this out, but I will be there. I will be there. So yep, it's out and here's the mold. And I am very curious and look at this. I mean, for my second time, it's really beautiful. And well, I can see the layers here, but I want to send this off. I want to give it also a top coat at the sides. So hopefully the layers will be vanished, but generally I'm very happy with the pour. When you look from the top, you don't see anything, maybe just a few bubbles. But that's it. I'm quite satisfied, even though you can see the layers. But this is something I need to work on in the future. But for my second pour, and I promise to show you my first pour, just let me get it. my first one don't know if you can see it um, and there you can see even more the layers at the side so this is already quite good and I'm very happy about it okay um, with the sanding this is something I'm gonna do um, for myself I will leave this for the video I will make an end um, result video for you guys. And then later when I have a time, because I'm going on a holiday, I will post, um, I will post um, in, on Instagram my final result, but I will post this video so you can see what I've done. Anyway, I love and leave you and thank you. For watching. Take care, guys. Bye bye.